Welcome to Timeless Devotions with Classic Christianity. My sister and I would like to share a treasure we found in our mother's attic, our grandfather's writings. For over 50 years, Papa was internationally known as the preacher of the timeless Word of God. Please join us now for a five-minute devotional taken from the books, Classic Christianity, A Year of Timeless Devotions, based on the writings of the Reverend L.A. Mead. Our devotion today is entitled, God's Favorite Word, and our verse is Mark 10, 49. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. What is God's favorite word? What was the word that God spoke to man before he destroyed the earth with a flood? What is the word that brought Peter to Jesus? What is the word he spoke to the little children and to the weak and heavy laden? The word is come. With that one word, come, I can sing the whole story of redemption. Come is the great word of the gospel. Go is the word of the law. The law shows the gulf between God and the sinner. The gospel bridges that gulf. The law drives. The gospel leads. Christ ever and always goes before as a shepherd before his flock, saying, Come, come. In the days of Noah, there was such wickedness in the world that God's orders went forth for the destruction of the world. Noah was called by God to build an ark to save his family and all others who would come in. When the ark was finished, God said to Noah, Come into the ark, you and all your household. Then floods prevailed over the earth. Only Noah and his household in the ark remained alive. To all others, it meant death. That ark is a type or an example of salvation. And God still calls to man saying, come into the ark, come, come. The last word has come, the first word has come. It is God's favorite word. Blind Bartimaeus finds a sunny spot against the wall and waits to see what the day will bring him. He hears in the distance the hum of voices and the shuffling of feet. He asks what the stir is all about. It's Jesus of Nazareth, the crowd replies. It's Jesus of Nazareth, son of David, have mercy on me, he cries. The louder he cries for Jesus, the more the bystanders rebuke him. You know, it's a bad thing not to come to Christ ourselves, but a worse thing to stand in the way of others. If you will not come yourself, be sure that you do not hinder others. Hearing the cry, Jesus stood still. Many other shouts were going up, but that was the one Jesus heard. Jesus said to tell him to come, and Jesus healed Bartimaeus' blindness. Jesus was passing through Jericho for the last time that day. Had Bartimaeus not gone to Jesus when he did, there would be no other chance. He may be passing through your town today for the last time. We don't know. He is still saying, come, come. There's the come of the little children. Let the children come to me and do not forbid them. Or his words to those who labor and are heavy laden, Come unto me and I will give you rest. But all the comes of the Bible are summed up in this last gracious invitation of the Bible that sums up and unifies all other invitations. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that hears say, Come. And let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take of the water of life freely. As the body must have water, so the soul must have the water of life. The Bible closes with the invitation to drink of that life-giving water. The invitation takes in everyone who will come. God sums it up in this one word, so beautiful, so full of tenderness, love, and compassion. Come. Dearest Father, you know who it is that I lift up to you today. Please soften their hearts so they may be like Noah and the little children and Bartimaeus who came to you upon your loving call. Amen. We hope you will visit us online at www.classicchristianity.net. If your goals include spending time with the Lord each day, we can help. Check our online store for devotionals for the whole family, including the At Papa's Knee series of children's devotionals and the books from which these radio broadcasts are taken, Classic Christianity, A Year of Timeless Devotions, Volumes 1 and 2. These are all available on our website, www.classicchristianity.net.